the Yamaha engine being the 3.3 liter was when they first came out with the plasma infused cylinder walls. Plasma infused, these walls are on the cylinder are super, super hard. It was very hard to break in the engines and most people say that break-ins a miss. So no one was breaking in the engines properly. A ton of them have a problem with making oil where it's not really making oil. And you know, the rings after so much time, you're never going to fix it. They're always going to make oil. But at the same time, those hard cylinder walls were hard to break in. And in order to fix the problem, they made a product called um, Yik, which is Yamaha internal engine cleaner. It's not sold to the public, but it's basically a very, very, very concentrated solution of ring free or a decarbonization component. There's also Johnson ever an engine tuner and um, power tune. So these are chemicals that can help to break off that carbon that's in the engine. And so what you can do as a trial, but this is something that, you know, every engine manufacturer and myself included is going to tell you that, you know, you doing things like this to try and fix your making oil problem, you know, no one's liable. This is on you, how you do it and what you do. You know, if you damage something, that's on you. That's not on anybody else. And no one's going to tell you any different. That's why they don't sell yik to the public because, if you do things improperly, you can damage your stuff and no one's going to be held liable for it but you because you did it. So what they do with Yik is there's a, cert, a specific solution that you can do. In a an external fuel tank, you can mix up your fuel with the Yik. You can only buy ring-free, seafoam, power tune, engine tuner, stuff like that. And you can mix up a very, very heavy solution of fuel and the decarbonization product and then put that into the engine and then go run it as if you're breaking in the engine. The heat and that cleaner together is going to it's going to clean that that carbon and that glazing off of the cylinder walls which is going to help the rings to also seat properly depending on whether you've got a glazing issue or you've got a ring problem because you could have a ring problem also where your rings are just messed up and you know no amount of detuner or anything like that's ever going to fix the problem but with that being said you can mix up the solution and run it and try and break it in but you have to be careful because you are changing the amount of fuel so that cleaner is is very hard so if you run wide open throttle and you're running it on a fuel mixture that is mixed with a very heavy decarbon you can clean the oil off of it so there's another problem that that we can go ahead and talk about now i'm pretty sure it's called burnishing and burnishing is where the fuel is washing the oil off of the cylinder walls which can damage your cylinder walls. You can scratch them. So if you run too heavy of a solution, that cleaner and that fuel is washing the oil off of the cylinder walls, you can actually damage it because you're going to get metal on metal contact, which is going to scratch the cylinder walls. It's going to mess up the rings and it could be a, a problem. So that's why it's a you know, do at your own risk type of thing um, outside of doing having a dealership with a certified tech that that gets the right ratios, which when you're using ring free or seafoam or something like that, you can't, the, the way you measure those ratios compared to your fuel is going to be dependent on what you're trying to do. So if you mix it up too heavy, that's what's going to happen. You're going to wash the oil away and burnishing is another problem that probably goes into the show. So let's go ahead and talk about the show. Um, Basic Info Edit says, what about the Yamaha 200 show, which is an SHO. Many owners can't get them to stop making oil. And the 200 show is an SHO, super high output engine. It's basically a performance engine. And that means that the mapping of the engine for that aggressive hole shot and the, the tuning in the engine, going back to the mapping of the engine more air more fuel gives you more power based on the torque curve and how the engine is 
set up to perform. So an SHO is basically a performance engine. If you take an SHO and you go out and baby it and run it, you know, only at idle, only at trolling, and you're never running wide open throttle, you're never getting the engine hot, you don't have it propped aggressively enough, whether that be over propping can be a problem, uh, under propping could be a problem as well. So based on the propping and the loading of the engine, you might be getting too much fuel in the engine. So you're going to be, it's not really burnishing because burnishing is, you know, past the point of, you know, cleaning the cylinder walls off and getting metal on metal contact. That's a whole different problem. You're, you're actually creating a bigger problem where you have a very heavy fuel mixture going into the cylinder. And if you're only idling all the time, that higher fuel to air ratio being put into the cylinder, you're going to be pushing the fuel. The, in, the piston rings are not getting hot enough. They're not expanding and they're not sealing the cylinder walls properly because you're never getting the engine hot enough. So it's always going to be able to push fuel past the rings into the crankcase. So no matter what you do with a performance engine like an SHO, if you only idle the engine, you're going to make oil. I mean, that's just what it is going to be because you're never getting it hot enough. You're never able to burn that oil, burn that fuel off and you are eventually going to be creating a, a glazing of the cylinder walls and you're going to be creating carbon, which as you, you know, run the engine longer and longer and longer, the problem is going to be progressively getting worse. So a lot of SHO people, depending on how you run the engine, you can fix the problem by changing the propeller. And if you change the propeller and run it a little more aggressively, your problem is going to go away. It's not really a glazing break-in problem. It's just that you're babying a performance engine and you're idling around, never getting it hot, never, you know, burning off any of the carbon or the fuel or any of this stuff. That's going to be the SHO problem. But the back to the 3.3 liter, the um, cylinder walls being plasma infused, most of them, they didn't get any of the rings to seat properly because they weren't broken in properly. And they're, they're babied. You're trolling a lot, you're idling a lot, and you're never getting the engine hot. So you're just pushing fuel past that. So if you like this clip, you can watch the full podcast over here, or you can watch another clip over here.